I became a dermatologist 20 years ago, I was disappointed with the field of cosmetic therapy. Lasers were so invasive that you, after treatment, you went home and oozed. And we prayed you got results and prayed there was no side effects. And both were prayers. Fillers, for example, were pig derivatives. So I wanted to raise the bar. And the only way to raise a bar was working for the guru, the gentleman who invented it all. So I went to Harvard and spent four years at Harvard working for Dr. Rox Anderson. Dr. Anderson was so generous with his laboratory, his time, his effort, he brought in some brilliant dermatologists, plastic surgeons, and scientists to really try to improve the field of cosmetic therapy. And we did it. When I left Harvard three to four years later, we could treat everybody in a safe, more effective way. Because we made lasers non-invasive, which means you leave here and go back to work, we also could learn how to treat and be able to treat skin of color. Lasers used to be only for Caucasians. Now the world has become that everyone can be treated regardless of ethnicity or skin color. But we also realized that your skin is treated not just based on the color of your skin, but your ethnicities play a role, your mixtures. Are you a combination of Cameroonian, Italian, and Cherokee? Are you Nigerian, Japanese, and Irish? Is your skin combined with German and, and Irish? Or Czechoslovakian and Russian? So the color is not the main reason or main focus of how we treat. It is your ethnicity. My company's name is Katura. Katura is Latin Spanish for culture. Because it's the culture of your skin that makes a difference in how your skin reacts. And culture includes ethnicity, includes sun exposure, health history, and many other variables. The future of skincare is really going to be swabbing your cheeks and treating you based on your DNA. I'm honored and proud of my company, Katura, and proud not just in terms of how we treat the skin. I'm proud how we treat people here. We've been here for 15 years treating people with respect and dignity. Welcome to Katura.